Hi friends, I am Jay Bansoda and today we are going to talk about average piston speed also known as mean piston speed. So just have a look over this diagram. So you know about the four strokes of the engine. If you haven't watched my previous video, I have included its link in the description. Please go through it. So now you know about the four strokes of the engine. Intake, compression, ignition and exhaust. So let's assume that ignition stroke is going on in an engine in this diagram. So the piston moves with the full force of the air fuel mixture down while creating a lot of tremendous kinetic energy and so as it moves it has a speed so as everything has a speed even this piston got a speed and as it reaches exactly at the bottom dead center exhaust stroke begins and due to the motion of the crankshaft it starts to rise in the upward direction and releasing the exhaust charge inside the combustion chamber so this is the these are the two last strokes of the engine so the average piston speed is actually the speed of the piston while the engine is running or the four strokes of the engine are going on so an engine gains maximum amount of speed in the ignition stroke as you know that the ignition happens the spark happens and the mixture of air fuel combusts and produces tremendous amount of energy which pushes the piston down and so on so average piston speed equals to 2 times stroke in inches into rpm upon 12 but as you can see we can shorten this formula for 1 and this 6 so we can shorten this formula as stroke in inches times rpm upon 6 equals to average piston speed so now you know about this formula so what is the importance of average piston speed why it is calculated so average piston speed is calculated to know about the fatigue life of the connecting rods the piston the piston crown and so on so as these are uh, these parts are made up of metals even they have a fatigue life or at a certain point of heat or at a certain amount of cycle of usage they start to end their shape and they become shapeless this factor is uh, known and connected to the modulus of elasticity which i am going to cover in my future videos so for now just assume that a piston or the engine having a piston with a higher mean piston speed revs uh, does not revs higher but it produces a lot of amount of torque and hence it runs a less life as compared to a high revving engine so you have probably noticed that high revving engines the engines which revs are about 9000 rpm 8000 rpm 10000 rpm like the honda s2000 uh, so those engines or the pistons of those engines have a less mean piston speed or the less average piston speed but the engines which produce lot of torque like the ones which are used in drag racing blown fuel drag racing overhead drag racing nitromethane drag racing and also in other sports like sprint racing or the production cars like bugatti veyron konigsegg agira rs lamborghini gallardo lamborghini aventador these cars produce a lot of torque and and also some of them produce a high rpm but most of them produce a lot of torque and a have a low red rain so they have a much larger a much more piston speed than their high revving counterparts and so they can end their life less shortly as compared to their high revving counterparts so this is the importance of piston speed so piston speed is uh, piston speed is calculated in short to know about the fatigue life of the piston the life which the pistons are going to live and uh, the life which in which there is uh, a need of replacement for the pistons of the engine so it has no connection with horsepower or something torque it is just theoretical and just used to know about that and now the fact of this video is that um at the ending fact i am going to tell you that formula 1 engines have a very less piston speed whereas engines like of bugatti veyron w16 and konigsegg agira rs 5 liter v8 have a much larger piston speed as compared to formula 1 engines but still they are faster than these cars and this is known to everyone that formula cars are considered as one of the fastest cars of the universe so now i hope that you understand my video and if there are any questions or comments please mention them in comments and thank you hit the like button if you like my video 
and subscribe my channel for staying tuned and hit the bell button thank you